Hey y'all, welcome back. I am really excited today to share one of my favorite hands-on activities with you guys. If you're new around here, you may or may not know that I love math. Like I geek out about it. Math is my jam and I have a huge passion for helping educators improve their mathematical instruction in the classroom. I'm not a traditional like worksheet type teacher. That was never my style. I always liked to bring math to life. I like to make it engaging and fun and hands on for our students because when we create those experiences for our students, we're also creating that experience for you as an educator. We want it to be we want whatever you are teaching, we want that to be fun as well. And so today I am gonna share one of my favorite activities for a teaching edition. So if you're ready, give this video a like, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's dive in and get started. Hey y'all, my name's Marcy Bernithi and I am the teacher author behind SaddleUpForSecondGrade.com. And today I'm sharing one of my favorite activities for introducing and reinforcing edition and I actually like to call it Hula Hoop Edition. <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to show like the whole thing. So be patient with me as um, I am modeling this for you guys. But this is one of my favorite visual tools to use with my students when it comes to introducing and reinforcing addition to 10. And one of the things that I love about this is that it's, it's different from like traditional manipulatives such as linking cubes or using 10 frames. Those things are great and they are really valuable tools in our classroom. When we can kind of think outside of the box a little bit and bring outside tools into our instruction, it just makes it that much more engaging for our students. So first, let me show you what you need to create your hula hoop edition tool thing. I don't know what you would call it. I don't know what you would call it. All right, so let me show you what you need. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is just a hula hoop. I got all of my supplies at Dollar Tree. So this cost me $2 to make. So um, I grabbed a hula hoop and then my manipulatives that th what they can move around the hula hoop ring, it's actually just a pool noodle. Let me show you. I purchased a pool noodle. This one was actually really fun. It was in the shape of a star. And you can just use um, like regular scissors or a knife or something like that. And you're just going to cut one slit on the pool noodle so that it can open up and it can fit around the base of your hula hoop. Then you are going to add however many pool noodle rings you want on your hula hoop. Like for this example, I'm actually going to show you guys using the sum to the sum of nine. I had planned on doing to the sum of 10, but let me real for a second. I have a three-year-old and a six-year-old at the time of this video, and they like to come into mommy's office and they like to mess with things. And so I got ready to prepare this video and I was like, oh, I only have nine. I only have nine rings around my hula hoop. So that's why we're using the number nine instead of the number 10. But it actually worked out perfectly because this activity can be done with sums to all kinds of numbers. You could do up to 20, you could do to 12, you could do to five, whatever it is that you are currently focusing on, this type of activity can be used for it. If you're working with, let's say the sum of 10 or the sum of nine, all I did was I took an index card and I taped it right here in the middle so that you can see. So what you're going to do is kids can actually move the pool noodles around the hoop to demonstrate different math facts that equal the sum of nine. So like for example, I'm gonna walk closer so you guys can see here. This example shows five plus four equals nine. Then they could actually do the turnaround fact 
and they could write 4 plus 5 equals 9. You could manipulate it to where it shows 1 plus 8 equals 9, and 8 plus 1 equals 9. And so as they are working on different math facts, they can manipulate the pool noodle around the hula hoop to represent the problem that they are working out. Now I want to show you a mini version that your students can create and they can actually keep them in their desks or in their math tubs that they can use as a tool all year long. And I do this using pipe cleaners, pony beads, and just some masking tape. So typically when I do this, I use the hula hoop. Like that's kind of like my tool to use for my whole group lesson. Then maybe I put it um, and use it in small groups or math stations. And then what's really fun is your kids can make these to use along with what you are demonstrating on your hula hoop. So all I did was I took a pipe cleaner and on this one, I actually have, I just took a piece of tape and I folded it over where the pipe cleaner, where the two ends met. And um, so it's just some masking tape. I folded it over and I wrote the number 10. So as we are working on math facts to sums of 10, kids could manipulate the problem. The same problem that I am demonstrating with the hula hoop, they could show with their mini version as well. So they could show that 2 plus 8 equals 10. Then they could flip it and do the turnaround fact, 8 plus 2 equals 10. Maybe you write a fact on the board. So let's say that fact is 4 plus 6. So what they have to do is they have to model 4 plus 6 on their manipulative, and then they might write the fact and solve. Then they can do the turnaround fact. So 4 plus 6 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. So it's just a really good visual aid, especially for um, our ELL learners who really need a lot of that visual support. And it's a great way to practice turnaround facts. So what I also like to incorporate this with is inside of my, my second grade addition and subtraction strategies guided math unit. And there's actually a very similar activity in the first grade guided math unit as well. But with this is I actually have a matching interactive notebook activity. So it goes along with our pony beads. And so what they do here is they have some blank rings where they have to create facts that represent the sum of 10. So like, let's say they're building out four plus six. So right here, they would have to build it on their manipulative. Then they would have to draw it out in their math journal. And then underneath the flap, they would have to write the turnaround facts that represent the um, the problem shown. So here it is 6 plus 4 equals 10. Under the flap, they wrote the two turnaround facts to match. So if you are interested in this resource, I am going to put the links to these guided math units in the description below this video. If you decide to implement Hula Hoop Edition into your classroom, I would love to know. Leave me a comment below. You can also join my free Facebook group, Saddle Up for Second Grade Teachers, and I would love to see pictures or I would love for you to share your experience of how you use this activity in your classroom. So if you're interested in joining that Facebook group, you can also click on the link below the video and we would love to have you. As always, have a blessed one and I will see you guys next week. Bye.